Okay, the next news is Christian moms complain about a lack of respect and dignity in the Super Bowl halftime show. So this, I thought, was pretty funny, but here we go. Evangelical Christian, now this is, a, a, this is an opinion, so Evangelical Christian hate group, One Million Moms, which uh, never has a critical thing to say about <clears throat> Trump or other Republicans, can't believe two women danced on stage during a halftime of the Super Bowl. Jennifer Lopez basically danced while wearing, quote, a glitter maxi pad, they claim. These Christians are more upset at J-Lo for featuring kids in imaginary cages than they are at Republicans for putting kids in actual ones. They whine about the less than family friendly halftime show. And they oh, say God. nothing about the president who has affairs and uh, talks is... about shithole country. So that's like, to me, that's political. I wouldn't talk about. Yeah, the I wouldn't president. bring Trump into this. Like, you really have to bring. Okay, this is. Okay, I, I'm, I'm very much against Trump, but this is taking it way too far. Like, this had nothing to do with what Trump. About? Like, you must yeah. have. That's the way I felt about it, too. You, when you I like, read how it. much Trump is on your mind that in the news that is already ridiculous. Like, you could go after these parents for so much. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. And you could. There's so much to attack them on this. And you have to bring Trump into this. Like, what the hell? Like, you guys. Are like that's his Trump, this derange is, Trump derangement syndrome, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is obviously an opinion piece, but let me read you. I went on the Million Moms petition page. I, I do want to point out that it was funny that they are called One Million Moms and their Twitter following is 4,731. Oh, yes, you're right. I neglected to read that. That's right. not a million. That's hilarious to me. Right. That's very far from a million. But what is it? What was it? Like, they say it was disrespectful. Like, Well, let me read you what they wrote on okay, their okay. page encouraging people to sign their petition. They said... Um, Nearly naked performers shaking their scantily clad rear ends and numerous other body parts. Sounds great. And then it goes on. Yeah, okay. And then great. later on, they say Shakira is known for her risque hip movements. Ooh. If that isn't enough, vulgarity, she also added rope bondage to her routine, all okay. while children were watching. And yeah, then later just, on, you know they what go you're to say. Not Turn off your TV. Exactly. No one forced these women, oh. that man who's suing for like $800 trillion. Nobody forced them to sit there and watch this. Right. They don't. I mean, that'll get thrown out. They don't have standing. But then they go on to say Lopez grabbed her own crotch and allowed men to rub their hands on her body. So this sounds like almost like something you would hear from, you know, some of these Taliban pronouncements or these super Super, super extremist Jews. No, you say. it's not that bad, to be fair. But to... uh, it's true. But it's going that way. Like they mm. let men touch. Her, she let men touch her body. She moved her hips. Okay. I mean, the the nearly na all of it. It's just going in that direction. Yeah. And but let's be fair. It's I... really, really bad and ridiculous. But it's definitely not even close to Taliban bad and ridiculous. You're right. You're yeah. right. It's yeah. not. But. Yeah. Oh, and then they say, how are children supposed to learn respect and dignity when this is what they see on the world's biggest stage? Which I want to say, that's some hubris right there. Like the yeah. whole world is paying attention mm -hmm. to the, what's going on in the United States on a Sunday afternoon. No. And then they say that this is wrong because so many other artists could have performed a cleaner program. Honestly, I think but, this is a huge ad for this whole show. Like everything they said, it makes my, makes me gonna want to go watch it now. Well, what I want to say, and what I've been saying to putting all over the internet, is pictures of cheerleaders that have been on the football field for two, three decades now in little tiny bikini tops and little tiny shorts, shaking their rear ends, mm. that no one seems to have a problem with. Mm. I'm thinking it's the inclusion of pom-poms that makes the difference. Uh, if you don't have pom-poms, it's Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> I, with with pom-poms, it's okay. More cheerleaders, but 
the, the, the problem is, and what I don't want people to do, is start to now rip on more women because these women are ripping on those women, right? Like, I, I don't want to... And, oh, and I know that's... You're about the meat that you saw yeah. online. It's not what? you doing it, Ripka. But what yeah. I hate yeah. is I hate Wait. people saying, um, you know, well, cheerleaders do it. Cheerleaders... So so let's not point to other women and say they they dance trashily and, and all these other claims that these moms are making about J-Lo and Shakira because, no, they don't, right? Um... So it's it's but to dance me, trashly not... as much as you want. What's the problem with that? Like dance. To... You know, I wasn't trying to no, say wait, they Ellie, were trashy. Sorry. I'm just saying that they're right. wearing you... scant, but small, scantily clad, clad outfits. Guys, 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 we need to stop talking at the same time because Skype mutes all of us at the, if we talk at the same time. But go, okay. Ali, Ali, sorry, I I interrupted Ali. Go ahead. No, but I I just definitely want to make sure Rivka. I know that that wasn't you saying that. It's it's been popular online. I've seen it um, even in some LGBT groups where guys are ripping on all the other women who are involved in football. And it's like, wait, hold on. Like, let's not turn this about a woman against a woman thing because it's not. These women are angry because they chose to watch something that they didn't like, um, but they still chose to watch it. And that's so so for them to sit here and try to blame the NFL or anyone to want to sue about this or Whatever, I think it's ridiculous. Honestly, it okay, ridiculous. I might, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that something that might be a little bit controversial or not, I don't know. But honestly, there's no nudity. So I think this is fine for children to see because it yes. shows that women, like, it, it fights modesty culture. It shows that women are not afraid of, you know, like, they don't have to hide their body. They're not ashamed of their body. Uh, they do what they want with their body. And if you are, I, I bet you if these were two men doing the same thing, less people would be offended. So it's mostly like a woman, apparently women, should, there's something very offensive about a woman's body. It's just like, if you show it too much, it might just break the fabric of the universe or something. There's some special, they have special <laughs> power. Like, so I think it's like just normalizing it and, you know, pe girls like saying that, you know, I don't have to be ashamed of like, this is fine. Like, if I don't want to show it. I don't show it when I'm, I'm not as a child, by the way. But when I'm older, like if I don't, if I want to be modest, I be want to be. I can be modest. If I want to be less modest, I can be less modest. It's all good. It's all fine. Normalize it. There's no nudity. No children were hurt in the process. Everybody <laughs> survived, and civilization didn't collapse as well. Let me just see what the top comment is, by the way. Uh, Okay, the top comment is a meme, so I can't read that. Uh, can Jay, I ask yeah. something really quick, Armin, before yeah, we on. before we get to that? I just I just wanted to say that we covered news a long time ago about a guy who said masturbation uh, made you gay because basically, like, you're getting hard for yourself um, and sexually aroused by yourself. This is the same guy who is suing the NFL right now for eight hundred trillion dollars for this halftime show. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the same guy. Just wanted to bring that so, up. There. Oh. And I wanted to make a point with Armin was saying if it was a man, that's actually been a discussion online. They're showing pictures of a male singer who did the halftime show with yeah, no shirt year. on. Yeah, mm. I don't know because I, I just go for the snacks at the football parties. But um, he had no shirt on. And we didn't necessarily see this level of outrage mm. over his nearly naked body. You're right. Yes, a woman's body has more powers than a male body. Um, so the top comment is by Montana. She is saying, it's amazing to me how many people think a woman's respectability is based solely on what she wears. And literally none of those people actually respect women. I, let, I agree with the first part of the sentence. I disagree with the second part of the sentence. When you say how many people, that's accurately there's a lot of people that think like that but when you say and literally none of those people actually respect women that's an absolute statement that there's no way that you could support uh use like if you say many it's a safer bet than saying all and it's a safer bet than saying most okay all is def if you say all you're definitely wrong if you say most you probably don't have any evidence for your claim but if you say many, you're in a safe zone. Just say many, many, right? <laughs> then you don't, it's really easy to pro prove that. 
Um, let me see. Okay, Vibe uh, Hav is saying, I think these Christians are acting like modesty culture of Christianity. Yep, that's what it is, modesty culture. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.